Hi, I'm Lari, and welcome to your upper body pool day workout. Today, we are going to focus on the back and the biceps, as well as the core. What you're going to need today, a set of light dumbbells, five to 10 pounds, and a set of heavier dumbbells, at least 12 pounds and above. Your back is a pretty big muscle group, so you're going to be able to push a little bit more weight today, or should I say pull a little bit more weight. Uh, you need a bench, but if you don't have one, don't worry about it. I will give you options throughout class, and we're going to begin with a banded warm up. And again, if you don't have this band, don't worry about it. I'll provide some options above as well. So grab all your stuff, grab a mat as well, and let's get to work. We're going to begin your warm up with scapular presses. So go ahead, find a wall, field goal position with the hands. Now press the backs of the hands into the wall. Feel that contraction already. Now bring those elbows down, big squeeze of the lat muscles down and then bring it up. We have 10 scapular presses at your own pace. That was one. Keep pressing into that wall. Feel the lats go down and then return. Nice, slow and controlled. Just warming up, five more. Press into the wall and then bring it down. Exhale as we go down, three more. Last two. Last one. All right, now we're grabbing your band. If you don't have it, look at the option. Here's what we're doing. We have the band around a bench or you can place it around a doorknob as well or just something sturdy that won't move. So we're hinging forward, hinge, hinge, hinge. Now we bring that band down, big squeeze of the lats and then bring it back up to center. We have 30 of these at your own pace, normal tempo. Get nice and warm throughout the lats. Big squeeze. Keep a nice neutral spine. Just focus on making the mind muscle connection to the lat muscles. Exhale as you squeeze. Halfway through. Here's your last five, four, three, two, one. Nice work, bring it to a nice upright spine. Now we're pulling the band towards the face. Think of this as a face pull, elbows are wide, squeeze the upper back, control it. 20 of these, normal tempo at your own pace, let's go. I'm just adjusting my body with the band right now. So you can be uh, nice and uh, high and lifted, but my band has slid, so I'm just getting into that little squat variation. because so I wanna keep the handles right around eye level. <sighs> Halfway through, 20 at your own pace. Last five, four, three, two, and one, nice work. We're going to repeat that warm up again. So release the weight, find your wall, field goal position with the hands. First things first, press into the wall and then we bring it down. So always keep tension by pressing onto the wall, 10 scapular presses, let's go. Bring it up, nice. This is just your warm up. We don't even have those weights yet. Just making that connection to the muscles. Getting nice and warm and ready. Halfway through. Exhale. Two more. Press, bring it down, big squeeze of the lats. Last one. Nice, now we grab that band or do the option. Up to you. Grab that band on something sturdy. A doorknob works great as well. Just make sure you're pulling out of the correct direction. All right, hinge it forward. Arms are long from here. Squeeze the lat muscles, pronated grip. Bring it down, your lat muscles. They're right here. This is the main focus on the back. Let's go 30 at your own pace, normal tempo. My band is fairly light. So once I get to rep 15, it's I really start to feel it. So those final 15 reps, I'm really getting my lap muscles to start to fire up, preparing them for what's to come. Mm -hmm. 
We're halfway through. Come on, last five, four, three, two, one. Sit it up nice and tall. We have face pulls with the band. I'm gonna adjust it real quick. All right, eye level with the handles. Here we go, pronated grip. Big squeeze of the upper back, elbows are flared. 20 of these at your own pace. Then we're getting to some real work. Ooh, although this feels, this is, this is pretty tough. Come on, 10 more. Big squeeze of the upper back. Here's your last. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. We're done with this band. So what we need now are your light weights. So go ahead and grab them. We're coming into a neutral grip, palms face together. From here, hinge from the hips. Keep that good posture, palms face together. We bring those dumbbells out and back, 45 degree angle, hitting the rear delt muscles or the backs of the shoulders. We have 20 of these, normal tempo, let's go. 45 degrees, so we're not bringing them directly out to the side, just slightly behind. Keep your gaze focused on the mat. Big squeeze at the top. We're going a little bit lighter to account for the high rep count. Halfway there, 10 more. Big squeeze. Here's your last. Five, four, three, two, one. Stand it up nice and tall. Palms are facing me, mine are facing you. Supinated dumbbell bicep curls. We have 15, squeeze it up, control. 15 at your own pace. Now elbows are in tight. Keep the space between the shoulders and the elbows completely still. Try not to bring those hips into the picture. Keep the core tight. Keep that breath constant. We have five more. Four, three, last two, last one. Bring it to the mat. Set one dumbbell off to the side. We only need one. Bring it to the left side of your mat. Bend the knees so much so that you can bring it to a plank position. Option on the knees. Full Monty, we're off. All right, the dumbbell is to the outside of the left hand. Draw that D belly button up and in. From here, we reach the right hand underneath the body. You grab that dumbbell on the left side, pick it up, place it to the right side of your mat, and then we go the other way. So we take the left hand, reach it underneath the body, grab hold of the dumbbell, place it on the left side of your mat, left hand returns to center. That was two. We have 10 total, so let's do eight more. Working on anti-rotation of the hips. So keep those hips pointing towards the mat. What we don't want, that number. Nice work, come on, four more. Last four, pulling it underneath the body. Nice, two more. And last one, nice work. We're bringing it up. Grab a hold of your light weights, we're repeating that. One more time, rear delt flies for 20. Hinge from the hips, we go. 20 total. Squeeze the upper back, try not to bounce. It's very easy to do. Come on, we're halfway there. Keep this tempo, here's your last. Five, four, three, two, one. Raise it up, flip the grip. Supinated bicep curl, let's go. Normal tempo, 15 total. Lighter weight selection. We can do this. Keep that breath, come on. We're over halfway there, keep this tempo. Last five, four, three, two, and one, nice work. Set one weight off to the side. Dumbbells going over to the left side of the mat. Come into your version of a plank, either on or off the knees. D belly button draws in. Reach the top of the head forward. Shift the weight into the left hand. Right hand goes underneath the body. Grab that dumbbell, set it to the right side. 
right hand returns, other side, left hand underneath the body, grab that dumbbell, place it to the left side, return. That was two, eight at your own pace now, 10 total. Last two. And last one. Nice work. Go ahead, set those light weights off to the side. Now we're going to grab your heavy weights. We're only gonna start with one dumbbell. And if you have a bench, go ahead and grab it. If you don't, replace it with a sturdy chair or something else, I'll give you another option as well above. So you're grabbing one of these weights. Left hand, left knee braces the body with the other side. So place it on the bench, flat back from here, palm faces in. We take that elbow high and wide. Big squeeze of the upper back. Three, two, one, as we come back down. So slower tempo on these. 12 total, do your weaker side first if you have one. Let's go ahead and get started. Flat back, bracing yourself on the bench. Let's go, one count up. Three, two, one as we lower. Big squeeze. Three, two, one as we lower. One count up, big squeeze. Three, two, one, you got it. Rep it out at your own tempo now. Keeping that slow and controlled phase. That'll challenge us a little bit more. We're halfway through, come on. Draw your deep belly button up and in as well. Engaging the core. Last two. And last one, nice work. Go ahead, flip sides. Right hand, right knee comes onto the bench, flat back. Left hand has that dumbbell, let's go. 12 total, one count up. Three, two, one as you lower. Elbow flares out to the side, hitting the upper back. Big squeeze. Halfway, we got it, come on, six more. Last two. And last one. All right, now we're taking that dumbbell. We're lying on your bench. I'll give you an option on the ground. Same thing, this just increases your range of motion. Head is fully supported on the bench. Now you can bring your feet up like this or you can bring it just like this. Whatever feels more comfortable for you. This feels better on my low back, so that's what I'm doing. All right, so we have that dumbbell right in front of the face. We take those arms back, 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 fairly straight with the arms, feeling tension in the lats, and then we drive it back up. We have 20 total, normal tempo, let's go. So if we do this on the mat, it's working the same muscle groups. This just on the bench or your chair will increase your range of motion, making it a little bit more challenging. The other way works just fine too though. We'll get creative with what we have. Halfway, arms are straight. If we hinge at the elbows, that's not wrong, but that's more of a tricep exercise. And we have a push workout for that separately at least today. Come on, five more. Last five, four, three, exhale, two, last one. Set that dumbbell on the chest. We have dumbbell crunches for 10. Big squeeze, bring it down. Big squeeze of the abs, bring it down. You can always take off that dumbbell and just do it body weight. Support the head with the hands if needed. Last five. Four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Place that dumbbell off to the side. Let's go ahead and roll up. We're repeating that again. High rows, 12, slow tempo. Dumbbell pullovers, 20, crunches, dumbbell, 10. So adjust your weight selection accordingly. This is our second time through. We're doing it three times. Let's go. So grab it, grab that dumbbell, 12, slow tempo. Let's get right to it. One. Three, two, one on the eccentric face. Belly button up and in towards that spine. Nice. So if by this 12th rep, you don't feel challenged or you feel like you could do like five more reps, probably you need to increase your weight selection next time. As long as you can keep your forearm mind muscle connection, we wanna make that last rep feel pretty challenging. Here we go, last two. Big squeeze. 
Last one. Nice, let's flip it. 12 on the other side. We're getting right to work, let's go. Slow it down, I saw myself speeding up just now. So the slower we go right here, the more challenging it is. So if you don't have super heavy weights at home, we can always control the tempo to make it a little bit more challenging. Give me that big squeeze at the top. Nice, hip point square. Last two. And last one, bring it to those dumbbell pullovers. So you can do it on the mat, you can do it right here. Let's go for 20, here we go. Reach those armpits behind. Slight bend in the elbows, but the arms stay fairly straight throughout. Find your in range motion. It may be here or it may be all the way back. Everyone's gonna be different, so honor your body. You're pulling from the lat muscles on the way up. Keep that low back pressing into the mat. If you have any low back discomfort, Here's your last five, four, three, two, one. Place that dumbbell on the chest, 10 dumbbell crunches. Let's get right into it. Exhale, squeeze, lower. Hollow it out on the exhale, control it down. Last five, come on, five more, five, four, Three, last two, and last one. Set that dumbbell off to the side. Let's bring it on up. We're doing that one final time. Let's get right into it. Bitch, high rows, let's go for 12. Let's make sure my mic was still on. Slow and control on that tip on the way down. Flat back. This is our last time doing these. Make them perfect. Halfway through. One count that big squeeze. Three, two, one on the way down. Keep that tempo, come on, last two. And last one, flip it. 12 on the other side, last time through, let's go. One count up, one count squeeze. Three, two, one. Nice, big squeeze, slow and steady on the way down. Halfway, six more. Keep your gaze focused, you got it, you know what to do. Here's our last two, no bouncing. And last one, nice work. Final round of dumbbell pullovers, we have 20. Once we get into position, let's go for it. Start here, reach it back. Pull from the lat muscles to bring it up. Now your feet can be like this, that's fine. I've heard arguments on both, so you don't need to comment on it. I know the benefits of both and why people do this, why some do this. Do what works for you. Don't worry about everyone else. Here we go, last 10. 10, nine, big pull, big squeeze as we bring it up. Keep this tempo, come on. Here's our last two. Exhale to drive it up. Place the dumbbell on the chest. 10 dumbbell crunches. Let's get right into it. Big squeeze, release. Last five, four, three, two, and one great work, set that dumbbell off to the side. Let's go ahead and roll it up. All right, we're done with your bench, so let's go ahead and move that off to the side and meet me back on your mat. All right, next block, we have three exercises, a hip hinge, a low row, elbows hugged in tight, this time normal tempo. Then we're going to some hammer curls, slowing the tempo down with those heavy weights. Then we set the weights down and come to the mat. So go ahead, grab your weight selection. Here we go, we're hinging forward. Keep that back nice and flat. From here, elbows in tight, palms face together. 
big squeeze of the back up here and then bring it back down. Normal tempo, one count up, one count squeeze, then bring it down, 15, let's go. Keep your gaze on the mat, hitting the back muscles again, pulling up, big squeeze. You should also probably feel tension in your hamstrings and glutes. Go at your own pace, 15 total. Here's your last, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, bring it up. Keep the grip in that neutral grip position. Now, one count up, big squeeze of the biceps. Three, two, one. On the way down, hammer curls, that was one. We got 10 total, let's go. This is a lot more challenging, heavy weights, slow and steady on the way down. Keep those hips quiet. Keep those um, elbows in tight. Come on, three more. Three. Two more, and then we set these dumbbells down. Last one. Three, two, one. Nice job. All right, now we're coming all the way to the mat. So onto your belly this time, this is fun. We have 15 supermans. So what those are, we lift the chest, we lift the quads, we squeeze the upper glutes in the low back, upper back as well, then we bring it down. 15 of those, then we hold and we go for a swim. Let's go, 15 supermans, control it. Big squeeze, bring it down. Big squeeze, bring it down, 15 total. Elbows in a field goal position, or excuse me, arms are in a field goal position. those quads off the ground if we can lower and upper same time here's your last five and four we hold at the top three two now hold at the top extend the arms we go for a swim 15 each side let's go one two three four five kick opposite arm opposite leg and keep this tempo last five four three two and one nice work go ahead press it on up we're grabbing your heavy dumbbells and we're doing that again elbows in tight so let's go ahead and grab it we hinge forward we have low rows 15 let's go big squeeze normal tempo looking straight down Come on, over halfway through. You got this. Here's your last five, four, three, two, one. Rise it up, keep the grip right where it is. Tempo, hammer curls for 10. One count up. Three, two, one as we lower. The tempo is what makes it super challenging. Try not to swing those hips. You got this. If you need to, you can always alternate one arm at a time. Keep it up, come on, three more. Last two. And last one, two, three, place it down. All right, we're going for a swim first. 15 supermans and then 15 swimmers. Go ahead, get onto your tummy. From here, lift the chest, lift the quads. Field goal position with the arm squeezing the upper back as well. Then bring it down. That was one. We got 14 more. Big squeeze. 10 more. Control it. Here's your last five. Three, then we hold. Two. Now hold, extend the arms. We go for a swim, 15 each side, let's go. Lift the chest, lift the quads one inch higher. Come on, we got it. Last, five, four, three, two, and one. <laughs> go ahead, push yourself off of that mat. Grab your heavy weights, we're doing that one final time. Then we're done with those heavy weights. So pick it up, we hinge. I'll give you a different view this round. 
Hinge it forward, 15 normal tempo. Let's go. Final round. You're looking at your mat a couple feet in front of your own feet. Stay right there. You know what to do by now. Keep this tempo. Here's our last five. We are, we are in this together. Four, three, two, and one. Stand it up tall. Keep the grip right where it is. Hammer curls for 10. Final round. But three, two, one on the way down. That's a lot more challenging than a normal tempo. Fight through this burn. We're gonna wanna stop, but we're not. Halfway. Five more. No swinging. Four. Three. Two. And one. Nice work. We're done with those heavy weights. Uh, you can always do your heavy weights next round, but I'm recommending light weights, so go ahead and grab them. This final block will focus on the core. First exercise, we will be grabbing those weights. I'll show you some options above, so just be on the lookout from here. We're grabbing hold of those weights. We're coming into that plank position. Feet are wide. We have 10 rows on each side. Elbow hugs in tight. We replace it back down. Keep those hips steady. No wobbling there. Core is tight. Let's go. 10 each side. Halfway through. Last two. Last one. All right. Bring it to the hands. Set the dumbbells off to the side. Bring it to the forearms. All right. We're coming into a side plank position, not letting the hips tap. Option is above. Here we go. Right arm goes long. We crunch it in. We return to center. We have 15 of these. Let's go. Big crunch. Bottom hip is up. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna let that left hip release. I'm gonna move my belt. Come onto your back, find your light weights again. All right, one weight in each hand, neutral grip, palms extend forward. Legs are uh, parallel, shins are parallel, excuse me, to the ceiling above. From here, right leg goes out, left arm goes long, and then we bring it up. So dead bugs, focusing on the core and the lats. Let's go. We have 10 each side. Your option with this is just to do it without any weights in your hands. You can always just do body weight. That works too. We're just gonna do what we can. Every day is gonna be a little bit different. Challenge yourself to the best of your abilities. Come on, three more each side. And two, we get to get rid of those weights for just a second. Last one. Nice work. Set the dumbbells off to the side. Now we're hitting the bottom of the abdominals. So keep the bit in the knees from here. Draw it in, tap the heels. 15 reverse crunches at your own pace. Make it controlled. Initiate the movement from the lower abdominals. Barely tap the heels. Here's your last five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, but we have to do that one more time. One more time through that, then we are done. So let's get to it. Let's get it done and out of the way, we're gonna finish strong. So we're back to those plank high rows. You can always bring it to an option. Let's get it there. Deep belly button draws in. Top of the head reaches forward, heels go behind. 10 each side, let's rip it out. Hip points are square, don't let them wobble. Draw that deep belly button up and in. Pretend like you have headlights on your hip points. Shine them down at the mat. They're not going everywhere. Keep them in that same position, keep them locked. 
locked and loaded. <laughs> Come on. Two more each side. Last one. Set those dumbbells off to the side first. Come to the forearms. This time, coming on the other side. So for me, that's my right forearm. Sack the feet. You can always release that bottom knee down. Left arm reaches overhead. Crunch it in. Return to center. 15 total. Let's go. Don't let that bottom hip slowly go down. Draw it up. Challenge your obliques. Halfway. Here's your last. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down onto the back. Grab your weights. Dead bugs, 10 each side. Your option, do it without the weight. But if we can, we're going strong. Let's go. Opposite hand, opposite leg. Engaging the core, pulling from the lats. Keep the low back pressing into the mat. Abs are tight, you got it. Keep this tempo. Here we go, two more each side. Last one. Nice work, we're done with those weights for the day. We're ending with reverse crunches. You can stay right here with the bend of the knees or you can go for the challenge. Extend the legs long, bring them up. Reverse crunches, pick your poise at 15, let's go. Try to hold it for one count right here and then bring it up. Try to keep the heels hovering off the ground, but if you need to, you can let them go. Come on, last five, four, three, two. Here's your last one. And nice work. Hug the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself some circles. Now let's reverse those circles. Nice, grab a hold of the hamstrings and just roll it up, massaging the spine and the back. Let's do this twice more because it feels so good. Ah, and then bring it all the way up. And let's just let's just chill on our in our butts for a second because that was hard. All right, inhale, arms reach up. As we exhale, grab a hold of the right wrist with the left hand. Exhale, side bend up and over to the left. Inhale, draw the right shoulder blade back, side bend up and over a little bit deeper. And let's switch sides. Inhale up, flip the grip. Exhale, side bend up and over to the right. Inhale, left shoulder blade back. Exhale, side bend up and over a little bit deeper. Oh. Inhale up as we exhale, cactus the arms, draw the elbows slightly behind the rib cage. Nice, release the arms. Inhale, spine long again. Exhale, left ear to left shoulder. And then just start to make a necklace with the chin. Right ear, right shoulder and repeat that very slowly. All right, the next time the ear meets the left shoulder, just let it just melt in that position. Extend the right arm out long, feel that nice stretch along the right trap. Big deep inhale, make that necklace, hold at the right side, extend the left arm long. And then as we exhale, neutral spine, let's bring it to a tabletop position. Inhale, belly down, gaze up. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, belly down, gaze up. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Bring it to a neutral tabletop. Walk the hands out when you can walk them out no more. Let's start to let that chest melt towards the mat, feeling a nice stretch along the lats. Ooh, the upper back and the biceps, chest and delts as well. You can stay here for as long as you like, but when you're ready, walk it in. Y'all, that's it, nice work. If that wasn't challenging enough, challenge yourself next time either with more reps or increase your weight selection if we have that available uh, at the moment. If not, we're gonna do what we can. Always try your best, that's all that matters. Enjoy the rest of your day, like, subscribe, let me know what you wanna see, and I will do my best to make it. Have a wonderful day.